What are the Yankees doing? That was essentially the tone of my Twitter mentions, even to the arm motions as the Astros were looking to, you know, it seemed like they were close to adding Garrett Cole, a starting pitcher the Yankees have seemingly been interested in for months, if not years. And it carried on to later in the night when the Mets signed Jay Bruce to a three-year deal. The Yankees have been quiet despite their many needs. They haven't done anything since uh, signing CC Sabathia uh, a few weeks ago. They would seem to still need a third baseman, seem to still need a second baseman, maybe one more starting pitcher. They may not seem, that, seem to think of it that way. They know their players, but you know, it, general consensus is that I would put adding a third baseman at the top of their list. I'm not sure that they're ready to go into spring training with Miguel Andujar as their number one guy or Ronald Torres as their number one guy. Torres probably fits better in a utility role. Not sure if he holds up as an everyday player, small frame. And, you know, Andujar, very talented, works real hard. Last year was defensively too raw to really spend any time in the majors playing third base consistently. You know, you know the Yankees also had Chase Headley and Todd Frazier. Again, hard worker, spent a lot of time every afternoon with then infield coordinator Joe Espada working on his footwork, working on his throwing. Not sure they're ready to go with him on opening day just yet, so look for them to, to add a third baseman. That's how I see it going. Um, but, you know, they're not going to move at anybody's pace but their own. They have a wealth of prospects. They could probably trade for just about any big name guy out there who's on the trading block and who maybe is not on the trading block. They can convince a lot of teams with the with the caliber of players, young players in the system that they have, but they're going to go slow. And one thing that could be holding them up right now, late on Wednesday night, you Darvish tweeted that the Yankees were still part of his crew of teams that he would consider. He had five or six teams listed on Twitter that he said he's considering going to. So maybe the Yankees are waiting for a conclusion on the U Darvish front. That would be some incredible addition on their end. If they could make it happen, you wonder if maybe they'd need to trim some salary, maybe move a Jacoby Ellsbury, move a David Robertson to make him fit so that the Yankees can get under Hal Steinbrenner's goal of getting under the $197 million luxury tax threshold. But it could be right now that the Yankees are waiting for the U Darvish shoe to fall before making another move. Waiting. That seems to be the Yankees' MO of the last few weeks. It's going to be uh, until spring training, until they can get what they want on their terms.